All right, at this point, I am wiring things up. So there you go. It tells you on the diagram to put the red and black, the red on the top right on the light, for lights and the black on the bottom and the green on the ones that say switch. Then there's just a little holes here on the side of the grill that the screws go through right here. And we just gotta tighten them up. So I think I might just leave it on video instead of time lapse so I can actually talk to you guys. Step 25, put three D batteries in this black plastic thing here. Okay. Trying to beat the rain here. And it says to slide the positive end in first of the batteries. And now screw it into the bottom of this thing. All right. And now. So you can see here, I had to hook up the other battery unit to this hole in this hole right here, which looks like this, and it says to put the hole on the bottom there. Now it says slip that plastic cover over it. Actually found it easier to put that cover on and then put it back on the screws. Now it says tighten the bolts. 
screws. Okay. Now once you put a battery in, Double A battery. Okay, so I took the double A battery out, a little cap, and it wants the positive end in first. Okay. Now it says to clip the wires onto these clips. So two Let's see the red, green, black. Alright, oh no. So it looks like I put the wrong bolt in somewhere else, but it's the same size, so I'll just use it for this other step, which is to bolt in the gas line to
really hard to see this. Alright, so there's two slots and I gotta put it on the one right here. Back side. Yes. And I'll put you guys back on time lapse. There she is, my brand new Weber Genesis 2 LX in stainless steel. Just finished assembling it. It's got a all stainless steel grates on the inside, stainless steel lid, a light on the top, thermometer, which they never work, so I'm not really expecting much out of that. A shelf that folds down. Um, it's kind of hard to do it one hand. Stainless steel doors with grease management system that goes into a pan and all funnels in, so that's kind of nice. A little bit of storage underneath. Large wheels in the back. One of the reasons why I bought this one. Small crappy coaster wheels in the front, that lock. A side burner, which I would rarely use. And a propane holder on the side that keeps the tank on the outside, which I really like. And a crappy gauge for telling you how full or empty your propane tank is, which I don't expect to work very well. Um, a couple notes I wanted to make on assembly. Um, I found it easier to get my ratchet set and my uh, screw gun, which I had a Phillips head screwdriver fit for and a socket adapter for. And what I did was anytime I had to use a bolt, I would use the, my socket. Um, and anytime I had to use a screw, I would use my Phillips head. And then I would just do it till it got snug and then I would finish tightening with my Phillips head screwdriver so I didn't strip it or my ratchet, which made everything a lot faster. Um, the hardest parts about assembling this were holding the shelf up um, while I was screwing it in, which I found out halfway through that if you just get underneath it and kind of hold it up with your head, you can screw these in a lot easier. 
only one bolt I had a problem with. The screw here was the only thing I did not want to thread in. Everything else went in okay. This is actually one of the last screws in assembling the unit, so that's not bad. Um, and it still holds it up fine. Um, what else was a pain in the butt? Oh, this stupid light. This light um, is probably an afterthought. I'm sure they made and designed this grill and then came back and said, hey, it'd be cool if we designed a little light. And I'm sure that it was some Chinese engineer who was quitting that day designed this thing and said, you know what? I'm going to screw everybody over and piss them off by making tiny little screws that are smaller than this on the inside that put this clamp on. So you first put this clamp on, on this. And it's the smallest, tiniest little screws, like glass, like for your glasses, those type of screws. And then there's this one. This one isn't too terrible. So if the batteries run out, you have to take this screw off and then replace the batteries that come in the unit. Everything else is pretty okay. It took me about two and a half hours by myself to put it together. And um, yeah, uh, assembly not too bad.